because I am a head of a women uh, group and they asked me to uh, bring a message here to uh, expand the market and to sell more products to, so they can work more and they can improve their lives and their families more. I'm very happy with the um, uh, number of uh, people who attended today and I was able to express myself freely. It's a group of 25 women, so it's 25 families and uh, they make maftoul, which is kind of Palestinian couscous and they made friki, which is a smoked wheat and they make also olive oil. They work as farmers uh, in the land and also they, they produce and they make the, 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 the product and they, can, they try to sell it locally in Palestine or to sell it in the UK. To, to support us uh, so we can live better with our children and grandchildren and live in a good life in, in the future. Yeah. Support first is solidarity. Uh, solidarity is a good support and also um, supporting by a expanding the market okay, and buying the products because the more they sell the better uh, uh, they their life gets it. thanks to palestine fair trade and thanks to zaytoun and thanks to everyone here uh, thanks to all supporters Of course, from uh, the producing communities from Palestine, in order to exchange a message of hope, a message uh, of fair trade uh, of the producers, uh, the message of a trade rather than aid, the message of future with dignity. Tonight, even it was about those messages in which we have open the floor to exchange with people their questions, the, what, what the importance of fair trade for the Palestinian farming community, what does it mean that the people would be able to sell some products in which it means of course that they are maintaining, sustaining their production, it means that uh, they are able to survive in such conditions and circumstances politically, economically and even climate, climate, climate change. So tonight event also has uh, flagged a great issue that uh, the fair trade is growing and is giving a chance and opportunity to the people in this country to contribute to the justice all over the world and to Palestinians and to uh, the producers. For fair trade is about people and is about the stories of the people that are behind the production. We finally got Palestinian producers in the UK uh, being able to tell their stories. Having producers being able to reach the UK and authentically tell their story is, you know, well, you can see in the room today, it's been touching. It's nice to be able to tell those stories and, and tell them confidently about why they matter, why fair trade matters and why trade justice you know, is vital in changing and connecting to people's lives. I really feel excited to be part of a story in terms of fair trade and, and Zaytun's story, sharing it with people here in the UK. Um, you know, and it's that message in a bottle and all those things. But above all, even more than fair trade, it's about that connection, what it means. Um, I know that there is a family behind this bottle of olive oil, and it deserves to live without oppression, without the occupation, and to live as a family, as a farming family, just like farming families in the UK. Uh, and it can do that with dignity and pride and support, trade and not aid. Zaytun's journey has never been an easy one. Um, 
started in the village of one and it's now 25 villages and 6,000 families. And uh, who'd have thought? Brighton was a place where Zaytun really got a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, it's here where Infinity was really buying Zaytun right from the beginning. And now we see it in Hisby and it's in the Taj, you know, and love that stuff for selling it and the Brighton networks are a big part of uh, Zaytun's story as well. So it's exciting to see that and hopefully it will grow even more. Hi, my name's Tim Jones. I'm the Head of Catering for the Big Fig Catering Project. Uh, we've had the great honour and pleasure tonight of working with the Zaytun of the Fair Trade Under Fire event. Uh, we've had the lovely Basima, uh, who's over from Palestine, to talk at the event in the kitchen today with, uh, and work with our learners and teach us uh, all how to make the Zatar bread uh, and use a handmade moftal. As the platform and the Big Fig, we offer catering training uh, for those long-term unemployed uh, and barriers back to work. It's a six-week catering course, City and Guilds accredited, uh, and we support people back into work. The platform is a social enterprise hub with the aim of creating, inspiring and supporting the growth of business for good. Um, we're based in Brighton and we thought it was really important to support local social enterprises and businesses that are creating a positive impact through their work and that's why we decided to support Zaytun tonight.